At Rocky View, we offer the latest technologies in computer-generated tomography, CT scanning, which will provide a three-dimensional view of the bone structure in your skull and allow us to place implants optimally, evenly spaced, or exactly where we need to in your mouth. We stay in the boxing ring for our eighth bout of the evening. It is set for three two-minute rounds at 135 pounds. Introducing first, fighting out the Dynamic Mortgage Concepts red corner, please welcome Mario Rodriguez. Dropping down a few weight classes to the 135-pound division. Mario Rodriguez making his way to the ring for this boxing match. He represents a family affair boxing. This Rodriguez goes by the nickname Maito. Maito. And we do not have any information on Daniel Alvarado. No fight sheet on Danny Boy. All right, fight record for Mr. Rodriguez, one win, three losses. Coming to us out of Thornton, Colorado. So seeing if he can up that winning percentage here this evening. Well, that was just our second finish of the evening. And his opponent, Fighting on the Larry H. Miller Auto Group Blue Corner featuring Chrysler Dodge Ram Fiat on Havana. Please welcome Daniel Alvarado. As I said, no fight sheet on Daniel Alvarado. So going to be a first look, at least for me, at Mr. Alvarado. I've seen some Alvarados in the past that can fight, though. <laughs> That's the truth. Hundred and thirty five pounds, huh? Ladies and gentlemen, this boxing bout is brought to you by All Glory Energy Drink. Let's meet our fighters first. Fighting out of the Dynamic Mortgage Concepts Red Corner from Thornton, Colorado, representing a family affair boxing. Mario Maito Rodriguez. And his opponent, fighting out of Larry H. Miller Auto Group Blue Corner featuring Chrysler Dodge Ram Fiat on Havana, an independent fighter from Commerce City, Colorado. Please welcome Daniel Alvarado. So Mr. Alvarado representing himself as an independent fighter. Okay, fellas, you have both received your instructions pain, earlier folks. in the dressing room. I expect you to obey my commands at all times, protect yourself at all times. Nothing below the navel, fellas, nothing to the back of the head. Touch him up. And Mr. Rodriguez, cornered by a family affair boxing. House of Pain, I like that nickname too, <laughs> don't you? All right, here we go. Rodriguez scores an early knockdown. Yep. Get him ushered over to a neutral corner. Back yep. to action will go. I believe it was the uppercut that scored well. Nice jab. Turning Alvarado. Going a flurry of punches here, JR. Rodriguez keeping those hands busy. Alvarado just trying to close the distance and take some sting off those punches. Alvarado almost uh, missed, almost brought himself down to the ground with that miss. Curtis Thrasher's just told the fighter what I was looking at. is it, fighting with his head down, yeah. more bullish. And right there is another shot right there. That'll be no knockdown. No knockdown, able to keep his bottom from touching the ground. Yep. That's about as close as you can yeah. get, though. Wow. Actually, pretty athletic move to keep himself up right there. Absolutely. He's got to keep his head up, though, JR. He's rushing in with his head down. 
Oh, and the uppercut again serves Rodriguez well. Body shot there. Alvarado just not able to get off. Much in the way of offense with this overwhelming no. early attack of Rodriguez. And Rodriguez able to hurt him time and again. Yeah, Rodriguez having target practice right now on Alvarado. Alvarado waves him forward. And that's, yeah, his, he went outside the ropes. His bottom touched the ground right in front of us here. So that's another knockdown. Good call by the referee. 10 second clacker sounded, so literally just a number of yep, seconds. Yeah, there left it is. Out. There's the bell. Right. So a couple of knockdowns. Didn't Credit think this would survive it. Didn't think this would survive into the second round. Yeah. yeah. Alvarado just uh, kind of faltering under the pressure of Rodriguez. Rodriguez doing a nice job of keeping himself exceptionally busy throughout the entirety of round number one. And Rodriguez coming in one and three, so looking to get that record up closer to 500. Checking out the replay here. Big overhand right. Scored well and then went with the uppercut. That's what did the work for Rodriguez on that one. Scored to good effect with that uppercut a number of times here. And a little chest pounding in Rodriguez's corner. He's fired up to come out and I think try to try finish to, this. Try to put an end to this fight here. <clears throat> Rodriguez just going to work. Yeah. Right, left, right, left, right, left. Just like he's working the heavy bag. My goodness, what a flurry. Problem Alvarado's having right now is you can't, if you can't see what you're doing, it, it's hard to land a punch. So that was three knockdowns in the fight. Must not be the three knockdown rule. Three knockdowns in a round will end the fight. Yeah, absolutely. But not three in total within separate rounds. And Alvarado goes down again. It, it's going to be close. Yeah, the referee will probably take a look at that's stopping things. And, and that that's was a low tap. It. That's it. Yeah. <laughs> Referee Curtis Thrasher has seen enough. It was just an overwhelming attack by Rodriguez. Able to keep himself super busy throughout the entire fight. Really nice job of pressuring the attack. Never allowing his opponent an opportunity to get going. And congratulations to a family affair boxing fighter. Mr. Rodriguez going home with the victory. Yeah, Alvarado outclassed in that fight, there's no doubt. Wasn't quite ready to step up to that level of competition. Again, an independent fighter, always tough like that. Here's a look at the replay and just the, the continual pressure by Rodriguez. And Rodriguez knew he was coming out in the second round to try to put an end to it. You could tell that he had that in his mind. He wanted this stoppage here. Yeah, when you take that many punches, 10, 12 in a row without returning anything, there's not a lot you can do. Big Mo's got the official time, center ring. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, referee Curtis Thrasher calls us out to this contest at 58 seconds of the second round. Declaring winner by TKO, Mario Maito Rodriguez. Mr. Rodriguez will Head on over to the winner's circle with Bailey Winters after you get a word from some sponsors. Then we'll be back with our last amateur MMA fight of the night. We've seen you in the cage. Now we saw you in the ring tonight. What's going to be next for you? So I got a fight lined up for January 25th. I'm going to be back in the cage, you know. You looked great out there. Sharp, technical boxer. You knocked him down three, three times in the first round, two times in the second round. Finally got the finish. Was that how you expected it to go tonight? I really don't expect the fight with me dominating, you know, but I just go out there and fight, just go with my game plan, you know. What was your game plan going in? Go out there and fight. <laughs> <laughs> That's always a good game plan when you're going to go fight. You look great out there. Uh, do you want to say hi? Hi. Oh. Congratulations on a great win. Good Thank job. You so much. <laughs>